this is cool. Whoa. That okay, is so cool. I guess so that as a start we could be as close as possible to the jawbones slash skull. Uh, you wanted to do a downstream niskin though first, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's for the, the niskin. Okay. Bring that arm in, Danny. You and can take, take, yeah, knock the two arms. Pull the Yeah, I can. I mean, we don't lose anything by taking a bunch. I can brighten up for you, Dan, if you want. Oh, there you go. How's that? Pen tilt light. My rack back. Okay, so I have H1968 dash NSK dash 001. Okay, excellent. Thank you. From line one. Yeah, okay, it, I think you can park them is this a good time to um, have a quick question about what the plates are about? Sure. Or should we save that for a little bit later? We're waiting on visibility. That's a great time. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the plates are for the video to to help the assembly of the photogrammetry uh, video mosaic of the whale, and it gives the perfect those numbers in between the markers that you saw on the plates are huh? centimeter to the center, the uh, so the video can calibrate the imagery and stitch them together perfectly. Awesome. So this photogrammetry is a, a photogrammetry. Grammetry, <laughs> thanks. Okay, is a that? pretty neat oh, technique to be able to assemble a, kind of a 3D image, right? From still photos, a number Something, of photos. Yeah. So for the folks watching at home, we've had lots of questions about what we're doing and what we've stuck into the seafloor. Um, this is a whale fall first discovered in 2009. Um, and taking a look by o uh, Ocean Networks Canada in 2012. We've been visiting this site for many years uh, and we're doing a photogrammetry exercise right now using those plates that are stuck in the Wait. sea floor okay. to uh, calibrate video. Um, so taking videos as well as still images. And what does uh, that mean? No, we don't know what kind of whale it is. Dan? Huh? The impressive thing is how small the lasers look on there still compared to looking at a fish or something it's huge yeah what was the heading of the so just as you're putting in that third push core someone's asking about the uh snails behind you and uh, or behind the the arm and we got uh the yellow columns i believe they're egg sacs right yeah egg towers egg or like towers. towers very cool and what kind of snail are these? These are, I believe, Neptunea pacifica, or uh, Bucinid. They're from the family Buc Bucinidae. They're very common in this area here. They occur a lot uh, in large abundances uh, near the hydrate site that we have, the, the methane hydrates. So they're probably associated with the Ed, you can See. go tight on the snails if you want there. Let me let you get out of there and then I'll grab some shots where you're swimming around to the side. Mm, we are at the chemosynthetic environment. The whale, uh, decomposing whale skeleton. Better. So just a, a quick question from viewers. Um, are the plates going to be left down? Yes. Yes, okay. Or at least... A couple of years so we come back here and do it again. <laughs>